Hello, I am Josie. This is Things I Buy, my YouTube channel where I buy things and share it on the internet. Today I am sharing my January 2023 Butcher Box haul. So just wanted to disclaim this video is going to be both a haul and a review of Butcher Box of whether it's worth it or not in case you've been wondering um, or if you've never heard of Butcher Box before, perhaps it's something that you'd want to implement in your budget. Uh, so what is ButcherBox? ButcherBox is a monthly meat subscription company. Uh, they are certified B Corp and they have organic, pasture-raised, grass-fed, grass-finished meats. Um, all of that appeals to me and that's what I was attempting to purchase um, at the grocery stores prior to subscribing to ButcherBox. So when I heard about ButcherBox, um, I figured like, let me give it a try. Um, they also have nice sign-on bonuses, so I actually used someone's referral link to sign up, and in doing so, I received money off my first box, plus I received free ground beef for life. So basically, for the life of my subscription, I received two pounds of ground beef for free um, with each box that I get. You can also pause boxes if you're like traveling um, or need a break if it doesn't fit in your budget or you just don't need any animal protein, then you can always pause it as well. Um, so I will put my referral link below. Of course, this is not so sponsored or anything. They just have a referral program for anyone that is uh, subscribed to their service. Um, so if you're interested in trying it out, I know as of today in January 2023, uh, my offer is for new customers to get $30 off their first box and you'll get chicken wings free for life of your subscription. Um, I love the chicken wings that they have. Again, it's organic pasture raised chicken. Um, the wings are the proper size and they're very delicious. Um, so if you're after watching this video, if you decide it's for you, uh, click in the description box, sorry, and that will provide a referral to you with that offer. Um, so the structure of this video, I'm going to show what the butcher box looks like when it gets delivered. I'll share the haul and then I'll come back here and share with you what I paid for all of that meat and whether I think butcher box is worth it or not. So let's see what the box looks like. Okay, here's the box. I've obviously ripped the packaging open there. It includes a packing slip, which is really helpful. I always compare this to my online order form to ensure they packed everything, plus compare that to what has been packed. Um, so if I open this up here, there's always this big insulated piece of cardboard. Then they include some dry ice, another piece of insulated cardboard, and all of the meat that I purchased. If I kind of zoom in here, you can hear just how frozen these guys are. So let me lay all of these out for you and my son and I will double check we got everything and I will share a haul of what we purchased and how much it was. Right, I got everything unboxed. Let me share what each item is and then when I sit down and give my review, I will also do the cost breakdown. If I remember off the top of my head what something costs right now, I will share that. So here we have some Alaskan sockeye salmon. We've never tried their uh, seafood before. My husband's a fisherman. Typically he only eats what he catches, but got this for him because he's been using his smoker a lot lately. Figured he could smoke some salmon for him and my son. They usually like eating it on bagels with cream cheese and capers. So got that guy. This is one of our convenience foods and one of the only like processed convenience food I buy each month. Um, these are chicken breast nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. Who doesn't? And recently my son has found interest, hence why I got two, because he's a big eater, my little guy. Right here, some ground beef. So I actually have four pounds of ground beef. Typically each month I only get two pounds. Um, when I signed up for Butcher Box, and typically for new members, they always have deals, revolving deals going on. I signed up using someone's link to get free ground beef for life. So basically that means every box that I receive from Butcher Box for the life of my subscription will include two pounds of ground beef for free. As you can see, I have four this time around because they were running a yearly deal where if you paid $55, you can get ground beef for the entire year. Again, they just send two pounds each month. So I think I did the math. I'll double check when I sit down. And that makes um, the ground beef grass-fed and grass-finished 
about 250 ish per pound which is great so i try to capitalize on their deals anytime that i can i did the same thing with this new york strip there are two here um these were only that both were only 12 dollars, so that was great that was their january deal this big guy is a brisket my husband will also smoke that this is a top sirloin cap pecana my husband makes it and we eat it with chimichurri it's so good here are two ribeye steaks this will be our tri-tip i do remember off the top of my head this was only 14 dollars for this tri-tip yes my my son is helping me point things out this is the beef chuck roast that he's pointing out and then this right here is the flank steak same thing last year i did a free flank steak for life um and so i i want to say it was like 99 dollars, which is more expensive obviously but again for the duration of my box i will receive a flank steak every month um i believe i only needed to pay or get four or five boxes for that to be worth it so yes my son is pointing out the chuck roast um, i usually make this in the crock pot or make a mexican dish with that so that's all my beef for this time around yeah papa i showed them that one already so back here some pork items we got two rack of ribs this one is baby back ribs and this is a st louis style rib i prefer st louis style ribs um personally it's more tender there's more meat on it compared to a baby back but again i was competing with my little drummer boy over there um these will be made on the smoker so got both to see which one we kind of prefer now that we have the smoker and then this is another convenience type food because it is already fully cooked this is bratwurst uh, no nitrates etc i usually serve this with pretzel buns and sauerkraut and it is a delicious super fast meal i believe this bratwurst was six dollars but i will double check my order and then lastly a thing of bacon um it's not a full pound i believe yeah it's 10 ounces but um all of their pork is pasture raised crate free as you can see this beautiful marbling it's super fire there's no sugar in it either um and again, I did a free bacon for life thing. I don't remember off the top of my head how much that cost. I will share if I do remember. So this is all of my pork, convenience foods, and seafood this time around. Let me kind of organize and show you the chicken products that I got. All right, this looks like a lot of the same because a chicken's a chicken, am I right? So obviously got a whole chicken back here. This was $10. Um, it's a little guy too. This is my hand. I mean, obviously you don't know my hand for scale, but perhaps an onion for scale. Um, all of their chickens, organic, free range, pasture raised. It's a young chicken, so it's not gigantic um, like GMO chickens. We got some bone in, skin on chicken thighs. Perfect for the smoker or for me to roast in the oven. These are by far one of our favorite butcher box things is their chicken party wings. They're so good in our air fryer. Uh, my husband makes them and wow. Then lastly, chicken drumsticks. I use these to make soup because it's just enough meat and I get all of the collagen, etc. from the bones. I make a good bone broth to add in there. So each of these chicken things come with three individually sealed um bags they're all vacuum sealed so i typically cut them when i put them in the freezer and it's really handy um typically we use one uh, little sleeve of drumsticks per soup that i make this chicken will be one meal and then i'll use the bones to make stock so i will be able to get two meals out of that and obviously tons of leftovers and then the party wings we usually make two at a time for a dinner and just eat fresh veggies on the side and the chicken thighs this can either be one big meal with two of them with leftovers or three smaller meals so that is all of the chicken let me put this away in my freezer and then i will sit down and tell you the total cost of this box and what my thoughts are on butcher box okay so that was the haul i'm drinking some liquid iv because i plan on having a second cup of coffee right now and figured let me hydrate 
with some liquid IV before I do that to myself. So let me share now why Butcher Box is worth it to us. Um, it kind of comes down to two things, the cost for the quality and then also the convenience and customer service. So let me give particulars about what we paid for this box from January 2023 and then I'll kind of give a bit more money figures and then I'll share about the customer service and convenience. So for this box, I'm looking down at my iPad, um, we paid $271.50 for 42 pounds of meat. So doing the math, that comes out to about $6.46 pound, cost per pound. <laughs> that's how much it costs per pound for all the meat we got. So I'd say that's very worth it for the cost for the quality. Um, I did some light Googling to give you some comparisons and at Sprouts, as you, if you watch my other videos, I shop there often. Their grass-fed flank steak, for example, was selling for like $13.99 per pound. And again, on average, we paid $6.46 per pound. Keep in mind that also means for like that bratwurst I got or the um, chicken nuggets, we're also paying that same cost. Again, it's an average cost. But to me, the quality for the cost is worth it. Um, let me talk to a bit more about their cost structure. So they have curated boxes where like if you don't eat beef, you can get all chicken and I believe it's a bit cheaper, like still in the hundred dollar range. Um, but I subscribe to their custom box. So we get six cuts that I get to choose each month for $169 as my base cost. So that means I paid like a hundred dollars over for all of the deals that they ran. And so in order to become a member with Butcher Box, that just means you need to have an active subscription. So you need to get one of their recurring monthly boxes. Once you have that box each month going, you then have access to their member deals. And that's where I got like that New York strip, two steaks, grass fed, grass finished for $12. So $6 a steak uh, for any quality of steak, that's a cheap price, but then it's grass fed, grass finished. So that means the cows only ever eat grass their entire lives. Um, if you see at the grocery store, anything labeled just grass fed, that means the majority of their diet was grass, but right before slaughter, like the weeks or months before they process the cows into meat you eat, um, they feed them grain. And that just doesn't really sit right with me as far as like humane treatment or not, because they were originally supposed to only eat grass. Plus it tastes different. Um, that's a bit of a tangent, but again that's the quality that you're getting so to me it's worth it um in addition to their member sales like those one-off oh the flank steak was on sale or the new york strip was on sale this time they also do their for life um offers and i have actually paid for a few of those so in this box i did a four year offer as i explained during the haul so i paid 55 dollars to receive 24 pounds of ground beef and they will send me two pounds of beef per month. Um, the cost of that ends up being $2.29 per pound for grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. Like if you go on Sprouts or even if you go to Costco, their per pound price for organic grass-fed, not grass-finished though, uh, beef is gonna be like the cheapest I've ever seen was like maybe five or six dollars per pound. Um, so to me, it was worth it to stock up my freezer, even if we don't eat it each month. I'm just trying anywhere that I can to kind of beat inflation um, as we all are. So for us, the quality for the cost is worth it. Um, to give a bit more perspective, I'll just give you some numbers from December. Uh, December, we got 39 pounds of meat in our box and we paid $296. So our per pound cost increased to $7.58. However, during that box, I did pay $99 um, for their free flank steak for life. So again, just sharing why it's worth it to us. The $99 I paid, that means I prepaid 100 bucks, gave it to them told them yes I want flank steak in each of my boxes for the life of my subscription well their flank steak retails for one for $24 so after four boxes the flank steak becomes free to me 
So starting in April, I will start receiving free flank steak in each box that I receive. So again, that was worth it to me. And we do budget a lot. Maybe I'll do a video about our budgeting practices. But I budget and try to spend around $220 only on Butcher Box. And this is the only meat we buy. We don't buy, we rarely, I should say, buy any other meat from the grocery store. Um, my husband does fish, so he'll get his fish that way. Excuse me. Um, but that's it. So, again, the quality worth it for the price. Um, convenience, customer service, everything is online. It's so easy. I just go throughout the month. Um, they'll send emails when they have a new deal going on and I can just add it to my box. And then they give you a three day warning that your box is gonna be billed soon. So then I just go in there, delete stuff from my cart so that way I make sure it works in my budget, make sure it's a good deal. Um, and it's so easy. And their customer service has been great too because at times I will run into like the vacuum seal being torn or last month, unfortunately, one of the meats that I got looked a bit questionable um I didn't feel comfortable eating it especially because my toddler would be eating it too so I sent them a photo and they refunded me my money so I've run into that a couple times over this almost year and I've had no pushback from them um last month's box was the first time they've ever asked for a photo to kind of support what I was saying you can either chat with someone or they have an automated system on their website. Their website is pretty nicely optimized and efficient um, where you can just report an issue and get your automatic credit or replacement item in your next box. So for me, that is a huge one um, when it comes to customer service, especially when you're buying anything online and buying such high cost items. Um, and I expect quality uh, when paying that price. And so um, of all the boxes I've got, they've always come very, very frozen, just like I shared in the haul. So to us, it's worth it. Um, whether it's worth it to you or not in your family will depend on the size of your family, whether you even eat animal protein, duh, or how much you eat. Um, but if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments because I am happy to answer and be honest about what I've experienced. Um, and please consider subscribing and liking this video because I will be sharing my butcher box orders every month that I get them. This month I just kind of wanted to throw in a review or um, kind of is it worth it breakdown. But I will always share the cost of the current box in my future videos. So thanks again. I will see you next time. Bye!